That's amazing. Um, so you yourself are a performer, correct? I am. That's excellent. Um, what kind of performances do you participate in? Um, well, I'm a, a storyteller. Um, I take uh, stories from my Greenlandic tradition and stories from contemporary Inuit, um, like the, our lives, my life, and uh, tell them. Mm -hmm. uh, in my own way and I'm also uh, a poet and I'm also uh, a mass dancer mm -hmm. and this is a uh, um, a, a type of uh, clown act that is um, a very big part of Greenlandic culture yeah. so I've been able to perform all over the world mm -hmm. that's amazing mm -hmm. can you just tell um, for people who are not familiar uh, what that entails and where that tradition comes from a little bit more? Sure. So, uh, Wailnuk is one of those uh, traditional performances that I spoke of earlier that, that had to go underground during the colonial era. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened in Greenland is that um, Greenland was colonized by Denmark and by the Lutheran Church. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. That's yeah, okay. <coughs> um, so, uh, there was an awful lot that was lost mm -hmm. during this this period of time, but uh, there was an awful lot that was kept uh, very dear to people uh, and uh, out of sight from from the missionaries and from the colonial um, administrators. So Wailnuk was one of these things that was kept a secret, uh, mostly on the east side of Greenland. Mm -hmm. And from the 1950s to the 1970s, there was this huge political movement that was totally tied in with, with the folk music and, uh, and um, bringing back uh, performance like this. So Wailnuk was really, um, really, really taken by the uh, Greenlandic National Theatre Company to be the cornerstone of, of Greenlandic performance. Mm -hmm. And so in traditional times, it was performed uh, usually in the middle of the winter, like now when people come together in those uh, performance halls and um, they would jump out and scare people and um, it would be like the beginning of a party. Okay. But uh, now Oil Nook is performed, you know, any, at any special location whenever we're asked to or whenever it feels right to, to jump out and scare people. <laughs> uh, that sounds like quite a party. So... <laughs> yes, it's raucous. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so, Wailnuk is an, uh, basically a, a clown act, mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, very interactive with, with the audience, um, and it really depends on um, the audience reacting naturally to, to how, how the dancers are very in their face and mm -hmm. funny looking and scary looking and, and very sexually evocative as well. So there are those three themes in the dance. Um, it's a very funny dance, it's a very scary dance, and it's also a very sexual dance. Um, so it teaches children and adults alike about all sorts of different dimensions of, of humanity. Like it's a safe setting for children to learn about fear, mm -hmm. which is a very important part of, um, of daily life on the Arctic. You have to know how to quell your panic to be able to uh, operate safely and, and uh, soundly, right? Like yeah. if you're in a kayak and the waves are getting higher, you if you panic, you might just tip over and drown. Or if you come across a dangerous animal, if you panic, you won't know what to do. So Wild Nook really teaches people how to deal with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, clowns, of course, are funny. So And everybody loves funniness. So it's a very important part of the dance as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the sexual aspects of it um, are very apparent on, on the mask itself, where somewhere on the mask dancer's face, there's uh, streaks of red. Mm -hmm. And those are symbolic of, of female genitalia. Oh. And uh, there's a stick or some bulges that go into the, the dancer's cheeks. Mm -hmm. And those are uh, male genitalia, so it's well, as I keep saying, it's it's on my face <laughs> to be very sexual. Yeah, <laughs> and it's because the the dance challenges people to see where their own boundaries are mm -hmm. and where other people's boundaries are, and how to be more inclusive, and and to see that sexuality is is on a continuum that 
men have something female about them, that women have something male about them, and that everybody has some kind of um, expression of this that is not stable. Yeah, that's amazing. So you said that this um, mm. was traditionally a Greenlandic dance, uh, and you now live in Iqaluit. Mm. Um, how have people mm. in Nunavut and other parts of the Arctic reacted to uh, that tradition and your dancing? Um, well, <laughs> old women scream and run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> no, I, that's, um, um, Art Suk. The uh, yeah. circus group from Iglutik have uh, they've performed with me uh, and performed while on their own with some other Greenlanders quite a few times now. Mm -hmm. And uh, Matthew Nukingak, who I think you are going to be interviewing as well, he's one of my performing partners. Yeah, he's and wonderful. Sylvia, he's he's amazingly scary. <laughs> he's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> And Sylvia Cloutier has been performing with me uh, for many, many years. So, mm -hmm. Wailnuk is a Greenlandic tradition that has been stylized in the modern era by Greenlanders. Yeah. But it is also, um, uh, or components of it, or the, you know, the themes of Wailnuk are, are very much a part of Inuit culture here in Nunavut as well. Mm -hmm. And there's all sorts of different games and, and uh, like performances that are very similar to Wailnuk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that are that are a part of here as well. So people find it outrageous and scary and funny and and all that, just like anywhere else in the world. But it's also a part of of here. Yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, you mentioned that you had sort of done this all over the world, and I know that there. I believe there's a YouTube video of you um, giving a performance with the Calgary Men's Choir that I saw oh. recently. Um, so I'm just curious, how much do you get to travel uh, and perform for you know other places in the world, and where have you been, and um, what has that been like? Um, it's well, I mean, of course, traveling all over the place has been really, really wonderful, eye-opening, uh, collaborative thing. Um, this last summer, we went to the Ridu Ridu Festival in northern Norway, mm -hmm. which is a festival run by um, by the Sami community there. Uh, and we've been to Italy, and we've been to uh, the States, we've been all over Canada. Yeah, I've been really lucky to travel a lot. Um, but um, what was the other part of your question? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> just... <laughs> Like where have you, I guess you've kind of answered it. Like where have you been, and um, how often do you get to travel? I guess was the other component. Oh yeah, how often do I get to perform? Um, I've been busy with babies. Um, I have two kids that are um, six and three, so I've been really busy with them the past few years. So I kind of uh, not done as much performing um, during this time as as I have in, before they were born. Sure. But um, yeah, I get asked every so often and and I'm very happy and lucky to be able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so just to get a little bit of a sense of, I guess, your sort of involvement in the arts, I just was wondering, when did you start performing and when did you start learning these traditions and sharing them with people? Um, I started performing when I was uh, just a teenager, actually. Um, my mother and one of the found uh, my mother, along with one of the founding members of the Greenlandic National Theatre Company, uh, trained me um, and um, trained me because I was watching them perform and listening to them talk about it. And then all of a sudden, I found myself being pushed on stage by them. <laughs> uh, so that's that's how long I've been I've been doing this, and. Um, is Sylvia Cloutier is one of my closest collaborators, and she and I have known each other since we were we were teenagers. Mm -hmm. Wow, so it's been I, a long process. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> it sounds like uh, it's been a major part of your life for most of your life, which is amazing. Is there any sort of mm -hmm. um, artistic performances or artistic sort of uh, expression that you have wanted to try but you haven't yet? Um. Yeah, and they're always burbling up uh, as they come. Um, but I suppose one of the things that um, we haven't been able to do here is give this state-of-the-art 
performance that uh, we've been able to do all across um, Canada and around the world, as we've been saying, in these beautiful performance spaces with beautiful sound and beautiful technicians knowing how to work the lights and everything so that we can have this um, really wonderful thing. And we don't have that here. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I haven't been able to do yet is... Uh, collaborate with Inuit artists in a beautiful space in the Arctic here in Nunavut. Well, hopefully by 2017, um, you'll yeah. be able to. So uh, for people to find out more about uh, what you're doing and how to help, um, they should just go to your website? Yes, uh, and I can spell Kagiahut for uh, everybody uh, because it is a long word with lots of double syllables. Right. Um, I mean vowels. It's uh, kagiavut.ca, and that is Q-A-G-G-I-A-V-U-U-T, kagiavut.ca. And we're going to be putting that in the notes underneath the YouTube uh, video. So anyone Excellent. who's interested, just look below the video on your screen. Thank you so much. Yep. Um, oh, we also have a Twitter feed and a right. group on Facebook as well that everybody's welcome to join. So. Yeah. Those are all the avenues of getting in touch with us. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that people can find all of those on your website. We also um, follow you on Twitter, so you can get in touch uh, via Twitter through our feed if you follow us, too. Uh, so thank mm -hmm. you so much for taking the time to share this with me and with everyone else who's going to be watching. I uh, really appreciated it. Oh, this is a really wonderful idea, and I'm really glad that even though the Arctic is a difficult place to get to, um, because it costs so much and all those kind of things that we're able to connect on, on Skype and I really hope that we keep in touch. You're doing yeah. a great thing. Thank you so much and we'll definitely be checking in later to see how your progress is going and um, to hopefully talk to some more performing artists in Nunavut. So, Absolutely. Yeah, fantastic.